Hey guys, welcome to another Vector Made tutorial. Today I'd like to kind of give you a how to video that uh, talks about how you take an image and vectorize it. So using like Live Trace. Normally I would say you do everything by hand, but when you get something like this, you know, poster picture here of the Thor Ragnarok movie, um, this is really complicated and you're not going to be able to do this by hand very easily. Um, at least not with a great amount of detail. It would take you forever to vectorize this. So, you know, if you had the time and, and you're getting paid for that, great. But if not, and you're kind of maybe doing something for fun or, um, you know, your time is limited, then I would suggest using an, an image trace. And this is kind of how I would go about doing that. So I went ahead and, and did four different variants on this particular poster. And if I zoom in, you'll see that this is the original with pixels. Um, it's actually a pretty high definition image from the internet that I pulled. Um, so the first thing I did was I ran a high fidelity pass through it. So this is, this would be the first one down here. And this does a ton of colors and small amounts of detail, but this is all vector. So if we zoom in, you'll kind of be able to tell, see how there are all these vector shapes that make this up but it looks pretty neat, kind of like a mosaic or something. Um, but I thought this one actually turned out looking pretty sweet. Again, here's the original. And then here's the, the vector version of it. Now, the one thing I don't like about Live Trace is that text always looks really bad. So text is always very choppy looking. Um, and if you ever have to do a reproduction, see, look, Marvel looks awful. If you have, ever have to reproduce text, just do it separately. Um, if you need an image like this, you might be able to get by with doing a high fidelity pass. But sometimes you'd also don't want this much detail. Sometimes this is too much detail. Um, and you're really wanting to go for something more artistic looking, like a, maybe a screen pass or something. So this is like a six color version of the artwork. And so what it does is it just picks up on the six most prominent colors in this and you can see it picked up on some of these little orangish colors in here the greens obviously and a lot of dark browns in here um <clears throat> it still looks pretty cool though right like that's that's a neat effect if it were me uh wanting to go through this you know I, i'd probably maybe get rid of some of these small specks maybe not keep all those maybe redefine the hair um so that it didn't blend in immediately with this flare here. Um, <clears throat> but overall, this is still really cool for just clicking a setting, right? So all I'm doing on these, so I can show you the, the six pass here, six color. You come up here to image trace, click down, choose one of these options. I chose six colors. It'll probably take about, <coughs> excuse me, about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, something like that. And I've got a pretty beefy computer with a really good processor, decent GPU as well. It's not as important, but the GPU will aid in the process nowadays. So there you go. Boom. Six color process. Pretty sweet. And if you want, you can always come in here and click on this icon. And let me drag it from my other screen. This will give you some options. You can change with the number of colors that you want or the rather the preset first here you can uh, change it to grayscale if you want how many colors you can have it down to two up to 30 here um, and this changes with each preset a little bit uh, path 50 percent just means the higher it is the more it's going to follow each path um, as true as possible i find that 90 is about as high as i ever go because beyond that it starts getting really rough looking you're going to almost see every pixel and 50 is okay for a really complicated complex image you may even drop it down a little bit more maybe go into 20 um, percent let's just see what that does out of curiosity let's see what it looks like corners <clears throat> there's not a whole lot of difference there that i have ever noticed um, sometimes they're a little bit better if you move it up or down like it, but it never seems to have like a hard, fast rule on that one. That's just going to be playing with it and see what you think. 
Um, so really, did this make much of a difference at 20%? Let's see. I mean, these things look a little bit smoother, I think. Yeah. Some of the details are just a little bit smoother. Really didn't do a whole lot of difference there. Again, that's going to be another one that's like based on the image. And this has so much detail in it that it probably just doesn't matter that much. Noise reduction is going to be small pieces. So anything under 15 pixels in size inside of here is just going to go away. Um, you know, for something this complicated, it might be good to have that bumped up even higher. Let's just try 100 and see what that does. We'll probably lose some of these specs here. But let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been getting over a little bit of sinus trouble the last few weeks. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, that got rid of a lot of detail, actually. Um, which might be really cool for uh, the style that you're going for, you know? If you're wanting to be, like, really minimalist. I mean, look at the difference between those two. See? A lot of little specks and a little more f fringe on this edge. And up in here, there's really not... I think the face is probably where you'd see the biggest difference. Let's pull this up. Oh, uh, we don't have to do that, do we? Ah, uh, yeah. We've got to wait for it to redraw it again because I moved it. <laughs> So again, if you've got a slower computer, this is going to take you a long time because it, it does eat up a lot of resources. So there, you can see a big difference in the face just on the settings. See, this has got a lot more well-defined um, highlight here. And you know, I just like the way this looks better. His face looks sharper. Over here, he kind of looks, I don't know, just a little washed out, I guess not a sharp so anyway and that's running on the same pass so or rather we did up the colors didn't we yeah so that's 30 colors never mind <coughs> but anyway very different looking this one we did I did 16 so here's six colors and kind of what that looks like here's 16 colors which I think looks really cool you still have a lot of detail but not nearly as much as like this high fidelity pass, but enough that it kind of captures the original, which I've deleted now. Um, and then here's one that was black and white. So what would be cool about doing something like this is then you could kind of go back over it and add some color. And what's really neat is it does all the different levels here, you know? So there's this doesn't blend in. It's really kind of similar to this high fidelity it just doesn't give any color to anything, which looks pretty sweet. But again, text is going to be awful. It's all funky. That E is like, but, <clears throat> you know, based on what you're doing, maybe you need to vectorize a flower or something. And I mean, it's just a high de detailed picture. And this might be a really good way for you to uh, incorporate, that, incorporate that into your artwork. Um, and, you know, Play with it. Play with it a whole bunch. You can come into these presets and do all sorts of stuff with that. You know, you maybe, uh, maybe you want to just do a, let's do, let's try silhouettes. I'm going to see what happens here. I haven't tried this one yet. All right, that's too dark. Your threshold will have to come down. Let's try 100. Let's see what that looks like again. Okay. So maybe that's something you can use for whatever reason. I doubt it, but you know, maybe, let's see, 50, maybe that's better. Uh, not really, but you could do that a couple of times, maybe do it on a pass of 50, a pass of 100, 150, 200, make each one uh, a slightly different color, and that could get a cool effect too, because then they could layer on each other. Anyway, all sorts of ways that you can use the, the live trace feature, um, <clears throat> and I think this, this kind of high detail image is really where it's going to be the most useful. Most of the time, you're really going to want to do things by hand. And even when you do things like this, you might want to come back in and like redo the, you know, maybe on something like this pass with only six colors, I might actually want to come in and redraw a little bit of that uh, cape that he's got going on so I can add in the red color, you know, because it really didn't pick up any of the reds in the six color pass. 
whereas it did in the 16 a little bit. But even then, it's not that vibrant. It's way more vibrant over here. So anyway, <clears throat> those are some options. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, leave a comment below, ask me questions. I love to get your questions. I'll answer those as fast as I can, and I will see you in the next video.